right, all right. Hey, Shalom, 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 Shalom. All right, we're going to start off first and foremost by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakak, Dash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the occupants, all the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 shalom. I'm Brother Haka from GMS, South Carolina Midlands, man. All right. And this right here going to be like a quick hitter right here, man. You know, um, you know, it's Saturday, you know, so-called Saturday. And, you know, about to go ahead and get ready uh, to get on the road and meet um, with the rest of the Akim of GMS South Carolina Midlands, all right? And we're about to go out there on the highways and byways, man. You know what I'm saying? Being instant in season and out of season, like something cats don't do, <laughs> all right? But like I said, man, you know, I'm gonna get one scripture here. And it's one scripture I'm gonna get, you know what I'm saying? Just pursuing to, you know what I'm saying? Um, Revelation 3 and 11, man. Where y'all about your mouth shall say, hold that which is fast, man. You know what I'm saying? Let nobody take that crown, which, which I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna read it. You know what I'm saying? Which is a heavy scripture within itself, especially the time. And you know, you measuring the time, we know what time we coming in, coming into the time of uh, the hour of temptation, man. All right, you know, the, uh, we know the Karagma, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, uh, the mark of the beast, the Karagma. We know it's already on the scene. We already know the technology already here. We already know um, you have uh, certain people in certain countries, you know what I'm saying, that already implemented, you know what I'm saying, the Karagma, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. But the only difference is uh, when the hour of temptation, that's when Esau knew that his time is short. He can come with that great wrath, pursuing back to Revelation 12 and 12, to where he gonna mandate, he gonna put it in the law. All right, he gonna put it in law. You know, it's gonna be a cashless society. The devil gonna kill this goddamn dollar bill. Bring in this, uh, you know what I'm saying, this karagma. All right, you know what I'm saying, the digital currency. All right, and then, hey, man, every man gonna be tested, man. You know what I'm saying? You gonna see in that time, you gonna tell the men from the boys in that day and that time, man. All right, but let me just get Revelation 3 and 11 real quick. Don't wanna be rambling, man. Let's get Revelation 3 and 11. Uh, matter of fact, before I get verse 11, I gotta start at verse 10, man. All right, Revelation 3 and 10, it says, in red letter, Yahweh Shah, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Yeah, the Karagma, man. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is not gonna put in the mind, you know what I'm saying, of the elect, man, to take that damn Karagma, regardless of what situation, what circumstance, or what adversity, what affliction, you know what I'm saying, that the elect may be going through. Hey, the elect already made it in their mind, you know what I'm saying? They ain't made nothing in their mind. The elect, how about you, Mahushah, put in the elect spirit not to take the goddamn crock, my man, at the end of the day. Even unto death, man. Even unto death, man. All right, you know? Let's uh, continue on, man. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, actually, man, like El's apostles always say, man, this is not... Uh, Esau uh, see him. This is actually Yahweh Shah see him to test the test of whole world, which we read in verse 10 right here, man. All right. Uh, verse uh, 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man may take thy crown. Yeah, man, we got to hold, hold fast, man. To what? This word and this truth, man. All right. Bringing out the 100% gospel at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. You know, so. Let me read that again, verse 11, Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hey, hey, hey man, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is right around the corner at the end of the day, all right? It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, representing this truth, all right? Um, that no man take thy crown, that no man take thy crown, man, all right? First and foremost, like El Pasco Ball always go into, we are our own worst enemy in this truth, man, all right? At the end of the damn day, all right? And then furthermore, you're supposed to let nobody take that crown, man. You know what I'm saying? Far as, you know, your family, you know what I'm saying? You know, your family. And then pretty much, man, your true friends are the brothers in this truth, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? We have associates, people we known in the world, we probably was cool with back in the world, but niggas that still in the goddamn world, we disassociate ourselves with them, man, at the end of the day or whatnot. We may have to deal with them here and there, all right, before as being around them, hanging around them or whatnot, or keeping company with them. Nah, we're not keeping company with non-believers at the end of the day or whatnot, man, all right, you know? So, you know, it says hold that, which is hold that fast, man, which is this truth, man, all right? It said, let me read it again. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, this knowledge and this truth, that no man take thy crown, man. No man take thy crown, man. All right, you know? So, you know, with that being said, man, we are in a privileged situation from Yahweh Bashim Shah, man, that we, you know what I'm saying, got a great chance of making it, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, being delivered and making it on those chariots, man. All right? 
And that's why we say we pray we are of the hopeful elect because Yahweh Shem El Rashad opened our eyes to this knowledge and to this truth, man. All right, in which we see two thirds of Israel, man, they're blinded by this knowledge and this truth. And 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 the top of the two third, the kings, the heads of the two thirds. Or Jake that's in the circumcision that them fucking sold out, man. All right, you know, at the end of the day, you know, them took that 501c3 charter, man. All right, that, that's perverting the gospel. And there's a lot of names to mention, man. All right, you know, unless they repent, you know, IUIC, their head, uh, Nathaniel, Nate Satan. All right, you know, Nathaniel Allo, you know, whatever he want to call himself, man. That nigga like fucking P. Diddy, man. That nigga always changing his fucking name all the damn time. He like the P. Diddy of fucking Israel at the end of the damn day, man. All right, but none, but nonetheless, man, like the scripture said, man, we got to hold that which is fast. Let nobody take that crown, man. All right, we have to, you have to have that mentality and just me referencing like sports, you know what I'm saying? Like a Michael Jordan, a Kobe Bryant mentality, man. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, you know what I'm saying? When they appear out like there partying, living it up, you know what I'm saying? Trying to knock down every piece of ass that they can get or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Being in that Zion Williams <laughs> spirit or whatnot at the end of the day. What what way Mike and Kobe was at, man? They was in the gym, man. Why? Because they was laboring and they was mastering the craft at the end of the day. That's why they were considered what? Generational uh, players, man. Generational superstars at the end of the day. You have a superstar. You have a regular superstar. You have stars, regular superstar. Then you have those generational players, man. And, and that's the mentality and the mindset we have to take upon, man. When everybody else sleep and we out there studying, man. We out there doing the work, man. All right. We up there meditating, you know what I'm saying, in prophecy, man. How we can master, how we can continue on to sharpen our sword at the end of the day or whatnot, you know. And like I said, man, hey, Everybody got the same 24 hours in a day, man. Everybody got the same 24 hours in a day, man. All right, you know? What are you doing? What, what you doing in your 24 hours, man? And that will separate the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why we say we pray we are the hopeful elect from the regular, everyday goddamn Israelite, man. Don't know what the hell is going on, man. Like I say, you know, I ain't even too much speaking on Jake. Don't know what the fuck going on, man. It's out there in the world. All right, don't, know, don't even know the heritage. We talking about Jake that's supposed to fucking know better than circumcision, man. All right, we out there, you know, no gimmicks. You know what I'm saying? We're not out there perverting the gospel. We're not out there, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, 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 um, adding to the scriptures, taking away from the scriptures. All right. We out there in, in, in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, Revelation 19 and 10, man. All right. That's what we're doing with our time, man. All right. You know, constantly praying, constantly repenting. All right. You know, all right. You know, hey, man, we're seeking to be better servants of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Fasting. All right. You know, and, and we love doing the work. We love laboring, man. All right. That's what separated Kobe. And Michael Jordan, man, look at their labors, man. Even though Michael Jordan and Kobe, you know what I'm saying, you know, considered, you know what I'm saying, two of the best NBA players ever play, but their labor is in vain at the end of the day, man. They labor in vain, man. That's, that's really shit, man. Yeah, how about you, my shot? Get no glory out of that shit, bro. All right? But the men of the Lord, man, I labor. It, it gonna pay off, man. It gonna pay off, man. All right? Yeah, how about you, my shot? Has a reward, all right? For, you know what I'm saying, his very elect at the end of the day, pursuing back to second Edgers, the second chapter, starting at uh the 42 uh, uh 42nd verse, man. All right, hey, Yahweh Shah gonna physically put a crown on our head, man. So we don't supposed to let nobody, you know what I'm saying, take that crown, man. Our eyes are open, man, to this knowledge and to this truth, man. All right, which like I said, that's mercy and grace within itself from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So we have a great responsibility, man. We 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 have the highest office, man. All right, you know, we're the ambassadors for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We come in the name, we come in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Man. We got to finish our work, man, at the end of the day. I watch people say, he that endured to the end shall be saved, man. So we almost here, man. We almost here. Ain't no time to fucking punk out, man. Ain't no time to bitch up, man. It's time to what? You continue on standing what? Ten toes down, man. We almost at the finish line at the end of the day or whatnot, man. So, you know, like the scripture said, man, in the first Peter's uh, uh, 1 and 12, whatever hell that's brought upon us, let me get that, man. All right? I said it was going to be a one-hitter, but... Man, like I said, man, I can't do no damn one hitter, boy. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I'm saying? It saved my life, man. Let me stop. But anyway, we're going to get um, First Peter's, man, real quick. Four and 12. Man, it, it, hey, that be the spirit, bro. Kakadash, man. How about your mama shot show? Not my show at the end of the day. But it's right here. First uh, Peter's 4 and 12, man. All right? It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happen unto you kind man verse 13 and it's read but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach's suffering that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad also with exceedingly joy yeah we're gonna be happy in the mug man escape that second death man escape that escape that second death which is a nuclear fire the liquor fire all right not no eternal hell 
stupid ass Nate Satan, uh, Nathaniel, you know, whatever, whatever the fuck he call himself, man. Well, he's preaching, he's preaching the damn hell doctrine at the end of the damn day or whatnot, like the Roman Catholics and Baptist preachers and shit or whatnot. Totally fucking going off. But nonetheless, man, you know what I'm saying? We got a, a, a eternal glory, man, all right? If we suffer along with Yahweh, you know, Yahweh Shah, man, all right? You know, we got to suffer too, man. And, and, and furthermore, Yahweh Shah ain't going to put more on our plate than what we can bear, what we can handle, man. Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying? He says, what, a false balance is abomination, man. All right, so the cross, you know what I'm saying, the cross that we have to carry, that, you know what I'm saying, the cross that we have to carry, guess what? It's going to be sufficient for us to carry at the end of the day, man. All right, most I can give you more than what you can bear, man. So we have to always keep that in mind. Whatever affliction, whatever hell, whatever sick, sickness, whatever ailments that we may be going through, guess what? We're able to overcome it through the power of your how about you, shot, man. Simple as that, man. But let's, uh, let's continue on, man. All right, um, First Peter's uh, 4. And finishing up verse 13 But rejoice in as much As you are partakers of Mashiach's suffering That when his glory shall be revealed And we almost there bro Alright Ye may be glad also with exceedingly joy We'll be on the right hand side of our big bro Yahweh Shah man Alright When Yahweh Shah gonna physically what Put that crown on the leg head At the end of the day or whatnot, man So we don't supposed to let anything man you know what i'm saying come in between that at the end of the day or whatnot man all right but with that man you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna go ahead close this listen out and pray and hope that this listen was edifying at the end of the day or whatnot and then you know just keep it in mind man we hey man over here you know what i'm saying great meals so i'm gonna say it just like it is man you know start with the elders apostles to the elder bishops on down to us i rot is out we, we are the men of the lord you know what i'm saying which i have full confidence we are you know what i'm saying but we have to endure to the end you know what i'm saying hey how about you shot chose us to be the apex man we the apex you know what i'm saying you know uh, uh you know what i'm saying pushing the word pushing the truth man all right esau knows that man all right nate satan he losing damn sleep you know i was watching elder apostle Hart live and here it is you had uh Goddamn the Nate Satan man, you know what I'm saying? Out there, you know, so-called trying to preach to this damn congregation. Hey, I know some of y'all window shopping, you know, some of y'all out there watching these other Israelite camps and you know churches in which we know he was referring to Great Millstone. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all watching these other Israelite camps, y'all window shopping and whatnot. These Israelite camps that don't know nothing and they give double honors, they ain't be giving double honors to their elders. Who, who you think he talking about, man? All right, you know who you think that sellout was talking about at the end of the day, man. All right, hey man, like I said, man, we gonna let nobody take our crown at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, you know, ain't you know we gonna let nobody discourage us or whatnot. We know Yahweh about your mouth shot is dealing with great millstones, talking to elders, apostles, elders, bitches on down us, and all the other affiliates and true believers of Yahweh about your mouth shot, man. All right, you know. So with that, man, I pray and I hope this listen was edifying. And with that, I wanna say shalom, shalom to the full shalom, shalom.